After a week off, testimony resumed today in the preliminary hearing for Paul and Ruben Flores. They're the father and son charged in the murder of Cal Poly freshman Kristen Smart, who went missing in May of 1996. KSPY News reporter Alexa Bertola has a wrap up of what happened. We heard final testimony followed by arguments from the prosecution and the defense. Now, since last month, we've seen more than two dozen people take the stand. Prosecutor Chris Prevell said the only reason why Paul Flores lies is he tries to cover up the murder of Kristen Smart. He said Flores got a black eye during the killing of Kristen Smart. Attorney Robert Sanger said there is no case against Paul Flores and there is certainly no case against Ruben Flores. He said there was absolutely nothing found in this case that was evidence. Attorney Harold Misick echoed the same thoughts and said the prosecution has painted lipstick on a pig and it's still a pig. Meanwhile, we also heard from three witnesses. Sheriff's Office Detective Clint Cole took the stand to discuss several recent interviews with David Stone, Ruben Flores' former tenant. Stone lived in Arroyo Grande for 10 years after moving out at the end of January 2020 due to the rent being raised. Stone told Detective Cole that he heard Ruben call Kristen Smart a dirty expletive. He also told the detective that when there was a plumbing issue and a plumber needed to go under the house, Ruben said no. He said he wasn't allowed under the deck either, with the exception of two empty 55 gallon drums he put under there, but Ruben asked him to move them two weeks later. Ruben's attorney, Harold Misick, then pointed out that the lattice gate was not locked and Detective Cole agreed. Stone also told Detective Cole the dogs on the property often went under the deck. Detective Cole said Stone did not have anything negative to say about Ruben. Meanwhile, cross-examination resumed for the people's witness, Jennifer Hudson. In August, she testified that in 1996, she heard Paul Flores admit to burying Kristen Smart underneath his skate ramp in Wozna. She testified that in 2002, the first person she told was her former roommate, Justin Goodwin, while they both had been drinking. The defense questioned why she didn't go to law enforcement in 1996 instead of waiting until 2019. She said she had no one to turn to and she was on her own. She added that at 17 years old, anyone would be afraid. The defense also questioned how she remembered a conversation from 25 years ago, but not from 18 months ago. She said she'd assume nobody in this courtroom would forget a conversation like the one she had with Paul. The ruling will happen on Wednesday at 8.30 a.m. In San Luis Obispo, Alexa Bertola, KSBY News. A neighbor of Ruben Flores, Jamelin Holman, testified that she saw a red SUV with a cargo trailer pull up alongside of Ruben's house just days after a search in February of 2020. She also says she saw a van with a camper trailer pull onto the street. She said it was suspicious because she had never seen them before and they stayed overnight. Holman said she saw Ruben, Susan and her boyfriend there. If you'd like to get up to date on what's happened in the past few weeks in the Flores preliminary hearing, you can do so on our website, ksby.com. Just open your camera app on your smartphone and point it at the QR code on your screen. This will take you directly to our continuing coverage of the Kristen Smart.